In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for Al plus HBr. So the first thing we need to do with net ionic equations is balance the molecular equation. I have one bromine here and three here. So let's put a three here. But I see right away, now I have three hydrogens here and two here. I'd like this to be an even number. That's really the only way I can balance this. Let's make it a six. So if I have six here, now I could just put a three here. Two times three is six, six hydrogens. Then I need to put a two here, two times three, six bromines, six bromines here, two aluminums, just put a two here. That's the balanced molecular equation. Now I need to write the state for each substance. Aluminum, that's a metal, that's just by itself, that's gonna be solid. Hydrobromic acid, you should be aware that hydrobromic acid, it is a strong acid. Hydrobromic acid is one of these strong acids here, common strong acids. So we know that it's a strong acid. What that means is it's gonna dissociate into its ions. So we're gonna put a little AQ. That's gonna be aqueous. Bromides, very soluble, AQ. Hydrogen, that's a gas. So we have the states. Next, we split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. So aluminum's a solid, it's by itself. We can't split that apart, just two Al. I'll write the states later plus hydrogen group one on the periodic table, that's a one plus, and the bromide ion, that's a one minus. So I have six hydrogen ions, and then I have six bromide ions. So these are the reactants in the net ionic equation. For the products, aluminum, that's a three plus ionic charge, bromide we said minus. Two aluminum ions, so two of these aluminum ions here, plus two times three, six bromide, ions. And then hydrogen, that's a gas. We don't split that apart, just 3H2. This is the complete ionic equation. So next, we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So in the reactants, I can see I have six bromide ions here and six here. But everything else is unique. So everything that's left, that's the net ionic equation for Al plus HBr. I'll clean this up, write the states in, and we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for Al plus HBr. You'll notice that we have six times one plus, that's six plus here. Over on the product side, we have two times three plus, that's six plus. So charge is the same on both sides. And if you count the atoms up, they'll be balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for aluminum plus hydrobromic acid. Thanks for watching.